trying to secure an expansion ASAP. If he gets a storm drop off, though, that could be a huge, um, at least move in the right direction. Oh! Whoa! Almost every SUV, only four SUVs left. That was absolutely gigantic. I don't know how many SUVs that Super has left on the whole map, but if he doesn't have a lot of money, it's going to take a while for his economy to recover from that one. Now, we do see a Nexus warping in here at the top right. I'm not sure um, where the rest of the probes are on the map. We did see a lot of probes killed here attempting to maneuver to the bottom left about maybe five minutes ago. This game's been going on for a while. But we would also know that Terran... Oh, recall. Back, um... Nope. Where did he go? Right right uh, there. Um, but I think what he, where he needs to be is at the top right. Yeah, he needs to get all his units up there immediately. You know, place his Templars all over the place on ledges to try to gain, you know, the, the area that he needs when the push comes. Because right now there is still an economy left for Super. He still does have enough units to make a strong push. So really, Alex needs to use every bit of this terrain, right. every bit of his spellcasters, to the best of his ability to have a chance to protect this new expansion. All right, well, once again, these vultures aren't going to do too much damage unless there are probes there. Vultures are not exactly the best uh, unit in the game to take out buildings. So the Nexus is going to complete. We can assume that there are going to be some probes transferred there momentarily. And um, I think this game is even back out, at least to a degree. Yeah, you know, there's a ton of High Templars everywhere on the map. We saw at that third base of LX, he has three High Templars in there. He has some sitting at his Chokes rally point. He has, uh, you know, Arbors sitting with his army. So he has a lot of spellcasters right now. Super should really be aware of this and spread out everything. He should make it so that his siege tanks can not two siege tanks being hit by any storms or stasis. Right, right. Yeah, Protoss definitely has a spellcaster advantage. That's partially Terran's fault for not getting EMP. Um, over here, which could start nullifying the observers in that Archon, by the way. Why is that still in the matchup? Um, <laughs> but that, that could help clean up this army. However, it's odd. It's almost as though Super has kind of put himself in this tactical disadvantage by accident. And mm -hmm. now we're going to sit here and see if um, Legendary can start to come back here. But you have to bear in mind, suddenly Protoss has secured the top right side of the map. Terran has secured the bottom left, mm -hmm. which means we could see a much longer game up ahead here. And you know what? I like this move by Super right now. He's going to stay defensive just for the moment and take that additional base. Right. And that's going to give him two bases, two command centers down there producing SCVs to refill his SCV count. And that's really great because there's not any way that Alex can really do too much damage over there right now. You know, he could use a recall and try to suicide on the command center. Ooh, yeah, but that's be risky. probably not yeah. good a good choice at this point. The only thing I can think of, and I really don't know how, much, um, how many minerals and gas... Uh, legendary has nor do I know I don't believe he has anything to make reavers but getting shuttle speed and doing non-stop storm drops would be good he could just get one shuttle and um, try to do storm drops from there hold that thought I think these vultures are gonna get into this main I don't think that um, LX should have moved out of the map at all because I think vultures are gonna get up here and unless um, he has a stasis maybe he can stasis this ramp um, to oh, block it off cloak oh that was close that was close. If Ooh. he had lost all those probes, I mean, that would be the end of his economy. There's very few probes yeah. left on this map overall. And we see Super Easy's trying to pick off what he can. You know, a good try with those vultures. Yeah. Keeping Alex busy over here, at least, so that Alex cannot harass anything at all. Um, Super is starting to look a lot more intimidating. We don't really see um, Alex's army getting that much bigger. I think he's still trying to catch up on probes. Um, mm -hmm. But we still don't see LX doing very much harassment at all, which is a little bit disappointing. At the same time, though, Super can't really push because of the threat of stasis. Yeah, you know, uh, he's he's going to wait a little bit longer, I think, maybe get a vessel out. He has to be really careful with it is all, really. You know, he, yeah. he is in a dominating position right now. He's got a lot better economy. We see he has a good number of SCVs at both bases. You know, his upgrades are decent. He's got plus two attack, plus right, one armor. Right. So, you know, as long as he's very careful, very methodical, uh, he has to feel like he can win this game. You can see right now that Legendary is just trying to clean up the mines on the map. He just wants to get some more presence here. He wants to get some more room to move around. He doesn't want Terran to feel like the whole map is as secure as his. And this is going to make it very uncomfortable when Terran moves out. He's also cutting off the location to where other factories would reinforce that bottom left base. Yeah, and, and we see that, you know, he's, he's clearing out spider mines right now, which is a good idea because having spider mines on the map, even if Protoss is not going to run into them, gives Terran a wealth of information. He knows where the right. Protoss units are not located right. because Terran always has to watch his flanks. 
He wants to know exactly where armies are at all times because the positioning of his units together is just crucial. Yeah, it's absolutely critical. And here's what I think we needed to see earlier. I don't know if we just missed a storm drop or not, but there's a shuttle moving back um, towards the towards the Protoss base. It could have had Templars in it, but at least we know he's playing it out right. Um, because that's what uh, Protoss needs to do is just start harassing the SCV count. Oh, and whoa! Oh, oh, Bill, two if, drops he, if he could get a stasis up, oh! Wow, that Whoa. is a huge stasis nice right there. Nice play here. He's going to be able to get over here underneath those dropships and take them out. And remember, in a phase like this in the game, it's not like you have a lot of units. It's mm -hmm. not like you got two dropship stasis when Terran was at 140 food and, hey, maybe Protoss is going to make a mistake. I'm betting these guys have maybe even under, uh, maybe around 100 food, maybe yeah. 110 food or something like that. So this is a good chunk of the Terran's army. And now Terran may try to move out here and start defending the dropships, and he's going to do just that right now. Oh, wow. Lucky for him, Stasis last oh! time. Oh, nice Stasis on the vessel. That hurts right there. And here we go. There's not many Protoss units left. He's really going to have to be careful here. Use size storms very well if he wants to kill this army. And right now, um, the dropships are are barely um, saved here, but it, I think uh, LX was really the person that suffered losses here. We don't see an army from Protoss. I, I'm, I'm confused. Are there, are there not more units here? It seems like we've been watching the same group of units. Hopefully, um, there'll be more here to reinforce. Yeah, it looks like oh, yeah, he is are. reinforcing, but mostly High Templars. More Archons. More Archons. Yeah, I guess he's in this so game. low on minerals. Yeah, he <laughs> must be very, very poor right now. If <laughs> he he's just needs archons. something that attacks at this point, I yeah, guess. Yeah, because no minerals and uh, lots of gas, which is what happens when you're in a very late game position like this. Now, Terran's starting to move up here with surgical precision, uh, sets up some defense, and is going to let a few more units slip through here. Now, Protoss is going to have none of it. We're going to see a blanket of storms here. Very oh. nice storms. Going to clean up these tanks. Incredible play here. Will we see a stasis? I don't believe we will. But we certainly see too many ground units here from Terran and not enough actual units that do substantial damage wow. besides Templars, which means once he runs out of storm, uh, Terran can just run over the rest of these units unless this Arbiter... Um, no. 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 Not at all. <laughs> not at Sorry, all. But I don't even know why I said that. You know, if he had two or three more Dragoons mixed in there, he could have really killed all those tanks. Yeah, a few Zealots or Dragoons, yeah. But clearly, um, LX's economy couldn't support that. And I think this is going to be the game-winning move here. Yeah, killing this Nexus is going to end it off. I mean, look at this. The Vultures are not going to let one pro get through. That Nexus, obviously, that cannon. You know, cannons are good, but not going to have to stop all these Vultures and Siege tanks. So, you know, LX may be going to make one last final stand here. And Super showing really nice play this game overall. A very weird, scrappy game. Yeah, I, I, I got I to gotta agree with you here. Very back and forth game here. You can see, I mean, still trying to bounce back here. Very nice storm drops, but it's not going to be enough. Good game. Good game. That is it. Tied up two to two. Going on to game five.